Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got that two of rods over here. You need to make some kind of decision. Uh, and maybe you're a bit scared of doing it because you're worried. You've got this man seeing, uh, you know, demons on the back of the wall over there. These are shadows. So you are worried about making the decision and you're worried about failure. So there's some kind of new project that you have to take or, or you have to do. And you need to uh, make a decision about doing this new thing. Uh, but you are scared of doing it because you're scared of uh, the project failing. Or you're scared that everything is going to go completely wrong. So you're looking to the past, you may have had some kind of failure in the past, and maybe that is clouding your judgment at the moment. So things are not very, very clear for you, and you are a bit scared about making a decision about what to do, uh, or whether to take on this new project. So you've got this Queen of Pentacles over here. So whatever you take on is going to be very, very successful. You've got that. Uh, this is your card with this Queen of Pentacles being uh, in charge of things, being, um, you know, uh, getting a lot of finances and a lot of money coming in. So whatever that new project is, if you just t take the chance and go for it, it looks like, and you can see at the bottom of that particular card, you've got that Ace of Cups over there. So this is something brand new coming in and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance and that's going to make you very, very financially independent. And um, you've got this Three of Rods over here. It's, you're going to be collaborating with a lot of people, uh, laying down foundations, uh, starting something brand new and it's going to have a lot of growth involved in it. You can see this wheat is growing in the field over here. So you're going to be working on an international basis with a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people collaborating but it's going to bring in a lot of success and maybe a lot of travel as well with that particular job so you've uh, got this uh, queen of swords over here in the past you've been dealing with somebody that has been very very difficult um you it, this person has been very challenging uh they might be a competitor that you've been dealing with and uh, maybe you people have uh, been butting heads as well so you've got that queen of swords over here maybe this person uh is very difficult to relate to uh maybe very cold uh, they come across as being very cold um, and uh, very precise and maybe you're not getting along with this particular person. But certainly there's a tug of war kind of um, uh, a fight um, for power. It's like a power struggle going on between you and this particular person that you're dealing with. And maybe this person f makes you feel really small. Uh, they might be uh, attacking your self-confidence and making you feel as though... Um, you know, uh, you're not good enough for that particular post. So whoever you have been working with has been, uh, you know, uh, putting you down, making you feel rather small, uh, maybe making you feel a bit humiliated as well with this Knight of Swords. And it's causing a lot of anxiety. Maybe you're not even sleeping well at night because you're dealing with this per particular person. But success is coming your way. So you just need to keep going, work on that self-confidence. So you want the harvest to come in. You want... Um, uh, success to come in. This has been playing on your mind and you're you're there, uh, you know, trying to achieve that particular goal. Now going into the future, you've got the Three of Pentacles over here. So this is working very hard at that particular job, but also being in charge and orchestrating a lot of pro projects. Uh, you know, you're going to be the one that, uh, the go-to person in this particular project that you're doing or whatever you're doing. And it's going to generate a lot of finances as well. You've got the Empress card coming in over here. So this is success coming in for you. There might be some study coming in as well, or some kind of information or education that's involved, uh, but also spending a lot of time by yourself with a lot of paperwork that you're going to be dealing with um, and being very successful as well because the empress usually brings in wealth now uh, you've got the king uh, the, um, sorry the knight of uh sorry the page of rods over here rather and this is about uh success uh, coming in for you and there might be some international travel coming in for you as well and this is also speaking to a lot of foreigners so a lot of people on a foreign basis collaborating with them and you know they 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 are going to be looking up to you so you're taking charge of some kind of international project uh, communicating and a lot of travel as well coming in over there so what you want you want to manifest you um, uh, want to focus on that particular work and you want it to be thorough success this is the magician card so you've got a lot of uh, ideas in your mind and you're doing a lot of mental work as well with this magician card so you want this to be a success now going into the future you've got uh, the seven of cups over here uh, the three of swords over here and the five of pentacles so with the seven of cups it's having a lot of ideas in your head but not actually doing anything about it so you're procrastinating a little bit you need to get yourself focused and you need to move forward so whatever ideas you have pick one and focus on that push your energies into that and you will be able to make 
make a success out of it. You will be moving away from any kind of difficult situations, whatever drama that you're dealing with, maybe whatever person you have been dealing with that's been giving you a bit of problems over there, you are going to be able to move away from that situation uh, with this uh, Three of Swords. So whatever they've caused, uh, upset that they've caused, there's been communication problems with them, maybe they don't, you all are not on the same page, uh, but you will be able to move away from that. You've got that airplane flying off. But also this is about international travel as well. So this could be that, you know, by moving away or getting a job that allows you to travel, you are you do physically move away from that particular situation. You've got the five of, uh, of pentacles over here, so this is watching out for your finances. Uh, you know, you are feeling a bit unsupported, uh, feeling a little bit of a loss right now, um, you know, feeling but left out in the cold as well. And also, whatever you're earning at the moment, it doesn't seem to be paying off, but that in itself will resolve once you start taking on this new role uh, of leadership that you will be taking on. And once you start traveling, it looks like money uh, will be coming in and a lot of success will be coming in after that so uh, try not to get bogged down by this particular energy of this five of pentacles it's just your perception that you're you know this perception of lack of feeling unsupported um, you need to turn to yourself you've got everything it takes uh, to actually be successful so you don't really need to rely on anybody to give you that support you are well trained up for this particular job that you're doing you need to act with confidence and not be so scared of doing things you need to um, you know Get out there and just do it because you have what it takes to be a leader. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. The first card is the Princess of Spring. It says it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your t creativity take flight. So it looks like, uh, you know, you need to take control. Work on that confidence um, issues if you have any. But also uh, with this Princess of Spring, it's about travel. So it looks like you're going to be broadening your horizons. And it, it looks like travel is coming in for you. Now you've got that Justice card over here. So it's time to review details carefully. And you will win in the end. Uh, fair and objective decisions. So if there's any kind of legal uh, issue pending or official decision pending, it looks like it's going to go in your favor. And make sure that if you're doing anything or signing any kind of contracts or paperwork, make sure that you are looking at all the finer details, reading all the fine print. This is also about getting that balance back. So whatever legal decisions, they will go in your favor, um, but also make sure that you are reading all legalities and official uh, information very carefully. You don't overlook details, in other words. You've got the Prince of Autumn over here, which says cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, and kindness to others. So this is another card that is calling you to be very, very specific or very, very vigilant um, about details uh, that you're dealing with. So the devil, they always say, is in the details, so make sure that you're reading all the fine print. But with the Prince of Autumn, it's about getting that job working on it and achieving success so you're on your way to success all that hard work is going to pay off even though it seems to be slow moving right now it looks like you will be achieving success uh, in the end of it all so money will be coming in uh, and you know you've got that queen of pentacles as well so you're taking charge some travel coming in over there and a lot of success as well coming in for you so I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.